Uh, hello, my friends. Today we will start first lesson about summer tunic. I call it Letia. And uh, first uh, we will talk about the main element. So this will be very beautiful and easy to, to do summer tunic. I will use for my uh, this beautiful Italian viscose in white color. And uh, I will join this just three threads and use hook in size 1.9 millimeters. Uh, also, I prepared special offers for you for tomorrow. You can buy such kits with big discount and uh, it's very easy to use such threads for tunics. We will have a lot of different colors and these special offers very soon you will find in our groups. So, uh, my favorite yarn is Italian viscose, it's very soft and silky. Uh, for such tunics for summer it's just perfect. And uh, today we will uh, learn main element. This old tunic I will make only by using one motif. It will be very interesting and easy process to do. And uh, what will be today? Uh, hexagonal element uh, in one color. So today we will learn step by step how to create such element. Also, I want to show you where you can find scheme for this motif. Tomorrow I will place this element in our group, free crochet patterns group. And now I want to show you just a few seconds how looks this group. A link for this uh, group you can find below this video. So let me show you. Uh, this is our free crochet patterns group, a free, a free crochet patterns group by JT House Crochet School. And uh, you can see here albums photos you can press photos next choose albums and you will see all beautiful elements that we have here tomorrow i will add here new motif uh, this will be motif latia for our summer tunic also in, in the same al album you will see next steps we will have few lessons about this summer tunic all, all course about this tunic you will find in one album so visit our free crochet patterns group uh, just you can join to this group and uh, use all these beautiful elements that we have here and also our new course live course about summer tunic uh, link for this group you will find below video i will add it so today we will talk about this beautiful element latia and uh, now i will make it live for you step by step it's a very nice uh, beautiful motif it's very easy to make it uh, just few nuances i will tell you uh, and also scheme for this element you will find in our free crochet patterns group uh, also a few words about uh, threads that i will use for this motif so uh, these threads uh, you can find in our JT House yarn store, uh, you can press uh, all yarn. Next, choose Italian viscose, and you will start to see amazing colors here. Today, I am using this one, 0201 color, and it's a very, very nice, beautiful white color. It's perfect for summer. So, uh, such threads you can just order, and each ball has 50 grams. For summer tunic, you will need around uh, 400 or 450 grams. So, like this information was for you. Now we can talk about our motif. So, let here I take three threads, join it together, and I used hook in size 1.9 millimeters. Uh, now we will start to make it. So, we will talk about this motif today. And a scheme for this motif you will find in our group. So now I will take thread, and for uh, first what we need to do, uh, we start from circles. So I will make eight chain loops and join them to the ring by slip stitch. Okay, so I need to make eight chain loops. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, join to the ring by slip stitch. Do just insert hook to the first chain and make a slip stitch. Next, I like to take all these threads to the right side. In this way, I will have tail at the right side. And it's really nice to work like this. After, I will start first row. In the original scheme, we have single crochet around this ring, but I like to use double crochet. So, three chain loops to move up. Next, one time yarn over and start to make a double crochet round. In total, we have 23 stitches.
21, 22, and the last stitch. Uh, now I will join to the first, uh, yes, to the beginning where we have three chain loops, to the third chain, insert the hook, and make a slip stitch joining. So now we have this beginning. So chain is like one stitch, three chain loops that we have in the beginning and 23 uh, double crochet round. In total, uh, we can say we have here 24 stitches. So now we can start new row, uh, second row. For this, I will make three chain loops to move up. One, two, three. And now I start to make like this cluster. So I will make now double crochet to the same point where I start to make the chain. But I don't finish the stitch. Again, one time yarn over and start to make double crochet. Now these three threads, three loops, I will join by one thread. Uh, between such clusters, we have five chain loops. One, two, three. 3, 4, 5. Next, I will skip one stitch in previous row and to the next stitch insert hook below two threads. Again, I will make a cluster from three double crochets. So, first stitch, second stitch, and third stitch. Don't finish all the stitches. You should have four loops on your hook and join them together. Now, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chain loops. One time yarn over, skip one stitch, and to the next stitch make cluster from three double crochet. So this will be a summer tunic. We will use only one motif, but will be interesting course because I prepared for you beautiful edgings around neckline, around bottom part. So uh, what this will be? Uh, for our tunic, we will make uh, such elements 22 we need 22 motifs, the same, but you cannot make all this motif in one time because starting from second lesson I will show you how to join two elements uh, just during the work. Yes, you will. when you will finish second element during the last row you can join it to the first motif. And like this we will work in our course, we will join 22 motifs step by step and we will create summer tunic from beautiful thread. Next, uh, we will have a lesson about making edgings. I, I just prepared for you this information, how to make edgings around, and I am sure you will enjoy this tunique when you will make it by this course. So, life lessons we will have during next weeks, so don't miss these lessons. Join to our free crochet patterns group and you will see all schemes, all video lessons about this summer tunic. Uh, now I'm just working in the circle, I'm making the same, uh, the same cluster, just I skip one stitch during the work and that's all. I skip stitch into the next one, below two threads I start to make three double crochet and next I join them together. You should have 12 clusters in the end, in this way you will know that everything is okay. When you are making such a tunique, it's uh, really better to make a, a little bit loose all elements. In this way you will have delicate lace, more delicate. And it should be loose a little bit. Design of this blouse, of this tunique will be loose, so it's okay. Really okay. Uh, now the last joining, I, I will look. Uh -huh, okay, I understand. At the scheme we have like this. Um, before we made here five chain loops, now we need to make two chain loops, one, two, and one uh, double crochet to the top of this first cluster. So below two threads I will insert the hook and make double crochet. From this point we can start to make a next row. For this, let me see to the, to the graphic, I will make, okay, I see five chain loops, Six chain loops, okay. First I need to make here one single crochet in the middle. Uh, next, six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I will join to the middle of this chain. We have five uh, chain loops here, so one, two, three to the third one. Insert hook to the middle of this chain and make single crochet. 
four, five, six, sixteen loops, one, two, three to the third chain, make one single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and to this middle chain, make again single crochet. And like this, go around. One, two, three, four, five, six, and next to the middle chain, single crochet. to the third chain loop again six chain loops and again single crochet one two three four five six and single crochet. Now the last uh, arch. Again, we will not make a full arch. Uh, we just need to make uh, half, even more, even less. Uh, two chain loops. One, two, and now treble crochet. One, two times yarn over uh, to this single crochet that we have here in the beginning of this row. So like this. Now start to make uh, row number four. For this, uh, I need to make three chain loops to move up. One, two, three. Now I will make a double crochet around this treble crochet. So I need to make five stitches double crochet just around. One, two, three, four, and five. Five stitches we have. Uh, next, four chain loops, one, two, three, four. Around this arch I will make single crochet now. Now again, one, two, three, four. And around the next arch, six double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six stitches. One, two, three, four. Around this arch, I will make also single crochet. One, two, three, four chain loops. Around next arch, six double crochet. And the last six stitches we have now. And now one, two, three, four. Again, single crochet around the arch. One, two, three, four, and six double crochet around. Four chain loops, single crochet around the next arch, one, two, three, four, and six double crochet around the next arch. Two, three, four chain loops, single crochet, one, three, four, around the next arch, last time six double crochet. Three, four, five, and six. Now one, two, three, four chain loops, single crochet, and uh, finish uh, this row. Uh, to finish, you just need to make four chain loops and join to this beginning where we have three chain loops. One, two, three, make slip stitch in the end. Uh, from here, we can start a uh, new row number five. Row number five. Uh, everything is very easy. This time we need to make again three chain loops to move up. One, two, three. Uh, now uh, we need to make to the next stitches. Uh, okay, two double. So to the next stitch, I will make one double crochet. Again, to the next one, one more double crochet like this. After three chain loops. One, two, three. And after I will make three double crochet step by step to each stitch of previous row. 
just insert hook like this below two threads and make double crochet okay and now around this chain I will continue to make stitches just around three double crochet one two and three stitches we have on the scheme next we have interesting moment we have like switching loops and pick off from switching loops I will show you how to make this one two three we have switching loops now catch the last chain start to make pico one two switching loops for pico but insert hook to the last of this switching loop that we made before insert hook yarn over and draw through all this by one time and on the scheme we don't have this but I like to make one more chain it's better for this for looking of this motif so one more chain and after start to make double crochet so first we need to make three stitches around next arch so just around make three double crochet one two and three next work with the stitches of previous row make three double crochet step by step to each stitch of previous row make one double crochet in total I have now six stitches next middle part is arch from switching loops and again to the next three stitches I will make step by step double crochet one two and three next around the next arch I will make three stitches more one two and three this will be in total six stitches also second part uh, next one two switching loops after a uh, chain uh, pick off from switching loops one two three insert hook to the third chain from the beginning make the pico and next one more chain around uh, this next arch three double crochet to the next stitches continue to make double crochet you should have six stitches at one side and six stitches at other side now switching loop this will be middle arch now continue to work and make six double crochet three to the stitches and three around the arch one two and three now again uh, we need to make arch from switching loops and pick off from switching loops one two three insert hook to the third chain starting from here make pico and one more chain loop around the next arch three double crochet one two and three to the next stitches make three double crochet one two three now arch from switching loops and again second part of this section this will be also six stitches now arch from switching loops pico from switching loops and one more chain don't forget about this in this way this row will be more beautiful this because you will see better three stitches around the next arch and next three stitches to the stitches of previous row next in the middle we have switching loops one two three and again start to make six stitches step by step now three stitches around the arch one two and three stitches now again arch from switching loops one two three and pick off from switching loops and one more chain in the end and make again six stitches at one side and six stitches at the other side four five and six now switching loops and start to make six stitches again one two three and three stitches around the chain one two and three and now the last arch one two three chain loops pick off from three chain loops one more chain and uh, I think we have few stitches more here yes we have three stitches around this last arch one two and three 
and finish by making slip stitch joined to the third chain loop that we have in the beginning of this row. Insert hook and make slip stitch. Uh, now start to make new row. Again, three chain loops to move up. And now I will make, let me see, two stitches and one. Okay. First double crochet to the stitch of previous row and second double crochet to the stitch of previous row. Now one stitch around this arch, one double crochet. Next again three chain loop, this will be middle arch and symmetrically make one double crochet around the arch. After uh, make to all the stitches step by step also double crochet, just one stitch to one stitch of previous row. Everything is very easy, but you will receive very beautiful motif in the end of this work. So in total, in this part, we have seven stitches now in this part, seven double crochet. Now we will make almost the same like we did before, but uh, just this time a little bit bigger. Four chain loops, one, two, three, four. Pick off from three chain loops, one, two, three. But this time insert hook to the fourth chain starting from the beginning and finish to make picot. And don't forget about one more chain loop in the end. Uh, now I have this part and we start from stitches. So you need to make all this uh, six stitches that we have in the previous row and one more around the arch. So very easily make seven double crochet step by step here till you reach to the middle part. Now arch, one, two, three chain loops and start around the arch, make first stitch, double crochet, next six stitches more, one, two, three, we have five stitches, six and seven. Now again arch from one, two, three, four chain loops. Next one, two, three chain loops for picot, but insert hook to the fourth chain starting from the beginning. And one more chain in the end. And again make seven double crochet at the one side and seven double crochet at the other side. Between them we will have arch from three chain loops. So we have six stitches and one more around the arch. Next one, two, three chain loops, one stitch around the arch. Next six double crochet, step by step, two stitches of previous row. So you can see how it's easy to work with Italian viscose. because it's very soft and nice. Uh, and really beautiful uh, color for summer, white color. It's my favorite thread. Now we have four chain loops, pico from three chain loops and make finish to make the picot and one more chain loop. Now start to make again seven double crochet. It's a really nice pattern. When you start to make this motif, when you see how to make first small part, you know how to repeat it very fast and very easily. So it's nice pattern for tunique, for summer tunique. I hope you will enjoy this all small course. But it's not so small. Uh, we will have a lot of interesting things here. You will see how to create from uh, the same elements, all tunique. You will see how to make beautiful edgings around neckline, around bottom part. I think we will make also this edging around armhole. Uh, we will have like small leaves, sleeves. So you will uh, you will see also how to make uh, such edging. Will be interesting. Today we have lesson all, only about one element that we will use, this will be our main motif. At the lesson number two we will learn how to join second element during the work. So when you will make uh, last row in the second element, in the same time you will uh, make a joining to the first motif. Next, at the third motif when you will make last row you will make joining to the first two elements. And like this, step by step, you will, you will create just really fantastic lace. You will see how beautiful grids we will have between leaves. So this pattern is really beautiful. I continue to make the same, seven and seven stitches between them, three chain loops. Now this part with pico, so four chain loops, pico from three chain loops. And don't forget about one more chain loop in the end. 
uh, now start to make I see hello from <laughs> uh, hello from Long Beef, Texas hello, nice to see you nice to see you all my friends <laughs> thank you for visiting I see hi from Yolanta okay, thanks we are making uh, summer tunic for this summer from white Italian viscose. Also Lynn, she is making also tunic just to show you how this tunic will look in very bright and fantastic colors. This will be just, I think, amazing result. So you will see this tunic in few variants and uh, we are making this tunic also uh, just uh, both from Italian viscose, just different colors. Now the last part, we have three, four. Uh, four chain loops now pico from three chain loops finish to make the pico and the last chain loop and now uh, the last stitches uh, we will have here only last three double crochet and joining by slip stitch one two and three so and to make joining to the third chain loop that we have in the beginning by slip stitch and now start to make a new row uh, we just have few row rows more and we will finish this uh, first motif for our tunique uh, for big uh, just to start we need to make again three chain loops one two three and uh, now uh, we have uh, three double crochet so i will make again step by step three stitches and the last stitch i will make around the arch that we have in the middle part so around the arch one double crochet so sorry long v of texas <laughs> Sorry, why sorry, Jamie Clay? Nice to see you, Jamie. <laughs> First time in our lessons, I think. So in the middle, the same, switching loops. Uh, now one double crochet around the arch and continue to work. Just make, this time we have eight stitches. So two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and the last one eight uh, now at this part where we have picots with chain uh, again I will make a little bit longer this chain five chain loops three four five and now one two three chain loops make the picot and one one more time don't forget about the last chain and uh, start from this stitch that we have in previous row uh, here we will have seven and one more will be around the arch two three four five seven and now the last one around the arch switching loops one two three and uh, make again eight double crochet step by step uh, you will find this video in our Facebook page, in our group, Free Crochet Patterns group, also on my Facebook page. Um, I will download this video to YouTube channel, so subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, you will just receive a lot of interesting videos about new motifs, new projects, and will be really nice. One, two, three, four, five chain loops. Next, pico from three chain loops. Finish to make the pico and one chain more. Uh, now start to make a double crochet. Uh, when uh, this scheme and also uh, schemes for edgings for this tunique you will find in our free crochet patterns group. Uh, just you need to press photos next choose albums and you will see uh, all albums about all elements. One of these albums will be I will create tomorrow about this summer tunique. You will find there all schemes and also photos each time when we will have new lesson, I will add their uh, new schemes. For example, how to join motifs. Next, how to make edging around neckline and bottom part of this tunique. So all this information you will find there. Five chain loops. Next one, two, three chain loops. This will be pico. Finish to make the pico, and next make one more chain loop. Uh, now just again we should have here at this part eight double crochet
<laughs> Jamie. Jamie, yes, first time here, very pretty element. Thank you, Jamie, welcome from Lynn. You will enjoy it for sure, yes, and we will enjoy also tunic made by Lynn. She is creating just amazing tunic uh, from two fantastic colors. Each motif has a uh, transition of colors. And uh, we will have, uh, yes, uh, two variants of this tunic, so you can see uh, how it looks in bright colors, in white colors, so it's really fantastic, I think will be very interesting. So now 5 chain loops, 3, 4, 5. Pico from 1 to 3 chain loops and make Pico. Next 1 chain loop and start to make a double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now one, two, three chain loops and again start the same. So what is good in this, in this pattern? We don't need to create some difficult design, yes? We just will learn one motif and next we will just learn how to join second element to the first one and that's all. You will, all you need to know to create this tunic. It's really fantastic. Just edging. Edging will be nice and not difficult and you will finish your tunique, will be just unique, made by yourself and with interesting uh, nuances, yes. So, I am sure you can start to make such tunique and very easily you will make it for summer. Summer is very, you will have very soon in one month, so we have time to create it. For such tunique, Lynn need only three days, I think, or maybe two days. <laughs> She made nine elements by a few hours. So uh, for this tunic we need 22 motifs. So let me see how many days need Lynn for this tunic. Uh, two and a half, I think. <laughs> and half day for edging. So three days and you will have fantastic tunic. You will impress your, f your friends when you will wear it for summer. For some, I don't know, beautiful day for holidays. Uh, Linda, this is wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Linda, that you are watching this workshop today, first lesson. Uh, now I am making pico from three chain loops. One chain and... Now the last stitches of this row. Okay, you can press some smiles, I will show them <laughs> at the video of this now. So, a uh, big part is already made, yes, and uh, now I will start new row. So let me see, we will have only two more rows and we will finish first element, you know? How easy is this? I am making it live, so without any, <laughs> yes, without stopping, so you can see how easy it's. We should make 22. Yes, Yolanta, but don't be hurry with this, because next lesson will be about how to join second element to the first, and uh, this all work we will make during uh, during the last row. So when you will make last row in the second element, you will start to join it to the first one. If you create all 22 motifs, you will not have chance, you will not have yarn, yarn to just uh, make joining to the previous motifs. Um, you can make like this, you can, if you want, you can make few motifs, but leave this tail very big, for example, 40 centimeters, or just don't hide the tails also, <laughs> just wait for second lesson and we will see how to work and next you will understand how you can um, combine your work, how you can just uh, make all these motifs step by step, or you can leave like this uh, tails in elements, and just leave them without you don't you don't if you don't hide them you can just remove last row and make it one more time but it's much more easy to work during the work when you are making last row just make joining okay so now the almost last row <laughs> two last rows start from switching loops one two three now four double crochet one more around this uh, middle chain 
one two three and now one again around the chain and uh, now we will make five stitches to the stitches step by step so we will not use all stitches just five one two three four and five uh, so now we have here at this part six stitches six double crochet and uh, now on the scheme switch, uh, switching loops for picot I made three made the picot from switching loops now seven one two three four five six seven chain loops and uh, now I will join to the middle of this chain uh, so before picot I have five chain loops so one two three to the third chain insert hook and make single crochet one two three four five six seven and now again the same we should make here picot in the end so one two three chain loops to the seventh chain make slip stitch just finish to make picot and i like to make one more chain after this continue to work uh, so we need to skip three stitches one two three to the fourth start to make first double crochet one next continue to work step by step in total you should make at this part six double crochet four five and the last one around the arch now in the middle we have again three chain loops one two three one more double crochet around the same arch and make five stitches more one two three four five uh, you should have six stitches here at this part uh, now let me see picot from switching loops one two three finish to make the picot Thank you from Yolanta, thank you too. Very easy to join, yes, Lynn. Thank you for comment. Now, seven chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And join to the middle of this chain, one, two, three, to the third chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain loops. Next, pick off from three chain loops, one, two, three. Insert hook to the seventh chain, finish to make the pico, and one more chain. Uh, now skip three stitches, join to the fourth, and start to make double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and the last around the arch that we have in the middle. Now one, two, three chain loops. Again one double crochet around the arch. Next five stitches to the stitches of previous row. So I have now six double crochet, make one, two, three, four, uh, three, st uh, three chain loops to make the picot. Next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain loops. Mm, one, two, three to the third chain, make a joining, just single crochet. Uh, seven chain loops, catch the last chain, make three chain loops. And to the seventh, insert hook and make uh, picot. Next, one more chain loop, and now skip three stitches and make five double crochet to the stitches of previous row. And one stitch around the arch. Three chain loops, and again start to make six stitches at the other side three four five and the last one next pick off from switching loops uh, seven chain loops join to the middle of the arch of previous row insert hook to the middle chain next four five six seven chain loops catch the last chain make picot from three chain loops finish to make the picot one chain and skip three stitches to the false insert hook and make double crochet uh, now 
make first a five double crochet to the stitches of previous row and next one around the, the arch that we have in the middle. In total you should have six stitches. Now one, two, three chain loops, one stitch around the arch and five stitches next. Three, four and five and one more. In total six stitches you should have here. Now, now pick off from three chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain loops. Insert hook to the middle of the arch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Catch the last chain, make pick off from three chain loops. Next one chain, skip three stitches and make six double crochet just at this part. Now three chain loops. A picot from switching loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain loops. Uh, join to the middle. And again, seven chain loops. Four, five, six, seven. Catch the last chain. Make three chain loops to for picot, and finish to make picot. Next, one chain, and the last part just few stitches. Sorry, uh, we don't need to make here stitches, uh, just joining uh, to the third chain by slip stitch, like this. And now we can start last row, switching loops to move up. One second, I will just uh, switching loops to move up. Next, two stitches. Uh huh. Okay, sorry. Just uh, slip stitches, we need to cross a little bit some area. So just by slip stitch, insert hook to the next stitch, make slip stitch one time, slip stitch to the next stitch, twice, and from the third we can start to make switching loops, one, two, three. And now two double crochet, first one, and to the next stitch one more double crochet. After Okay, we have uh, one, two, three, okay, one, two. Just let me check one moment here. We will make three picots after two stitches. Uh -huh, okay, after two stitches, we have first picot. One, two, three. All the time from switching loops. In this element, we have only picots from switching loops. One, two, three. Insert hook like this below two threads and finish to make picot. One more double crochet and make one more picot from three chain loops. And now one double crochet. So we have three picots like top part of this leaf that we will have here. Uh, this will be top part, last row. And we have around the arch we should have five stitches. We have five stitches, so we continue to work. Now we will work with these stitches of previous row. We will make here one, two, and three double crochet like this. Uh, now uh, pick off from switching loops, one, two, three, insert hook below two threads, finish to make picot. Next seven chain loops, three, four, five, six, seven. Make joining to the middle chain of previous uh, chain. We have here seven, so we need to find fourth. One, two, three, one, two, three, fourth. So single crochet to the direct point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain loops. Again, find middle chain. So chain number four in previous row and make joining to this direct chain loop and make single crochet. Next seven, three, four, five, six, seven chain loops. Catch the last chain, make picot from three chain loops. Now finish to make picot and make one more chain. Uh, now skip three stitches and join to the fourth, make double crochet, first one, and to the next two stitches also double crochet. Like this, we have three stitches, 
Uh, now again work in the middle of the sleeve. Uh, we should have here five stitches and three picots. So first I will make two double crochet round. Next picot from three chain loops. Again one double crochet and picot from three chain loops. And one more double crochet. And the last picot from three chain loops. And the last stitch number five around this middle arch. Now one, two, three stitches here and make picot from switching loops. Uh, now start to make arches from seven chain loops. Three, four, five, six, seven. First arch, join to the middle of arch of previous row to the fourth chain. Make single crochet next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And also join to the middle of this arch by using single crochet. Now 7 chain loops, catch the last chain, make picot from 3 chain loops and 1 chain. Uh, now skip 3 stitches, join to the 4th and make double crochet. 3 stitches. Now work with middle arch, make first Two double crochet, one, two, next picot from one to three chain loops, again double crochet, and one, two, three, picot from three chain loops, and again double crochet, and the last picot from three chain loops. So it's really nice motif, easy to do. Tomorrow you will find scheme for this element in our free crochet patterns group. In our new album you will see. So I finished to make uh, the stitches. Now we have at this side a picot from three chain loops. Next seven, three, four, five, six, seven chain loops. Join to the middle chain in previous row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 chain loops. Again make joining to the middle. Okay, the last chain. 1, 2, 3. Make picot. And one more chain. Skip 3 stitches and make again 3 double crochet to this part. After start to work with arch. Very soon we will finish this first motif and this is main motif for our summer tunic. So now you can see how easy uh, this motif is. Without any problems, without difficult stitches, uh, just work with the scheme. Um, you can make it a little bit loosely, for tunic will be nice when you are making everything not so tight. You can use beautiful threads, you can use multicolored yarns. I like to use viscous because it's really incredible, incredibly soft and beautiful and really high quality yarns. Nice feeling to body also. We will see how fantastic blouse will be made by lean from two colors in two colors. Italian viscous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A join to the middle of this arch. I see big comment from Jamie. Wow, you have a great memory. You remember it each repeat without even <laughs> checking pattern. Impressive. Thanks so much. It's really you will do the same because pattern is very very easy. Seven chain loops. One, two, three, four. And the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Catch the last chain, make three. Okay, we need to insert to the seventh chain and finish to make picot. Next one chain, skip three stitches and make three double crochet. Next, start to work with middle part again. Make beautiful edging with three picots. Reaching loops all the time for each picot that we use in this element. Uh, 
Uh, now three stitches at this part. After this, because from three chain loops at the corner, looks like at the corner, three. Insert hook below two threads, finish to make picot, and now three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven chain loops again join to the middle one two three seven okay now again seven one two three four five six seven one two three seven chain loops and pico one two three finish to make pico one chain more and again skip three stitches and make this beautiful top part of each leaf. This element looks like with six leaves, you know, it's really nice. Now two stitches around the arch and one picot from three chain loops. Next one more double crochet and one picot from three chain loops. And now the last picot here, one, two, three, and make one more double crochet and now three stitches at this part one two and three and uh, now the last part we have i see comments yes after several motives uh, motive you will know it <laughs> by heart <laughs> lynn thanks for comment well yes i have projects like that i may see them in my sleep <laughs> great really funny uh, okay, I forget to make this uh, pico at the corner, three chain loops. So very soon, few stitches and we will finish to make our first motif, Letya, for summer tunique. <laughs> Start with us, with me and Lin, and uh, by this all lessons, uh, together we will create summer tuniques for this summer. So, and we will look very beautiful at holidays and also at just sunny days will be nice. <laughs> Last stitches, arch from 7 chain loop, um, picot from 3 chain loops, 1 chain, and let me see, just joining, yes, just joining to the 3 chain loops that we have in the beginning. Uh, make joining, one more chain, and we can cut the yarn. I will leave tail bigger a little bit, just to be sure that if something, I can join it. <laughs> okay, now just fix the thread. So you can see a uh, very beautiful tender motif with such leaves we have here with picots at the top part. So great result. Just now you need to hide tail in the middle uh, by using needle with big eye. I think for someone who are watching this first time I will show you this. But first I will show you how it looks. I hide a tail in the yes middle tail in this part where we have double crochet and. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, we have beautiful leaves here at this part, flower in the middle, and you will see next how beautiful will be this grid when you will join two elements. It's just something fantastic. You will see it, it looks maybe simple, but when you will receive lace, this is just gorgeous. And such element, hexagonal, yes, uh, hexagonal element, we will use for our uh, tunic. We will make 22 motifs. You can choose colors, colors that you like the most. And one second, I will show you how to hide tail, and that's all for today. Uh, for someone who are watching these uh, workshops, our workshop first time, just you need to take needle with big eye. In my case, I have three very thin threads, Italian viscose. Uh, you will have maybe one thread. Insert to this needle, and after I will join at this area. Insert hook just in the middle of these stitches, and very accurate, go in one direction, slowly, and just, I will draw all my threads, because I have three threads, and this will be first time, you know, uh, when you are uh, just using cotton, you can make it two times, if you are using like me viscose, you need to make three times, so now insert hook, at the same uh, place, just change direction, and now to just draw thread to this area and third time the same in the middle of the stitches insert needle again and that's all three times if you use cotton only two times and you can cut this uh, thread very close to the element 
and then after you will iron and stretch everything and you will receive beautiful result like we have here like I just show you so first lesson uh, we finish it thank you so much for watching this workshop uh, nice uh, I just finished it 12th grade Lynn used fantastic I used it three colors three colors really I say I just uh, think that maybe two colors uh, dark red to dark purple fantastic okay such element Latia motif Latia is for summer tunic Latia it's very easy to remember and uh, because we are making this all to just tunic from one color that's why uh, we will use uh, we, from one element and uh, name for summer tunic will be the same uh, thank you so much for watching this workshop uh, visit our free crochet patterns group find their scheme for this element and also next steps you will find also in at the same album uh, see you very soon uh, also we will start new course about small tablecloths very beautiful uh, just uh, watch our live broadcast or on facebook and don't miss anything uh, have a nice evening and bye-bye, bye-bye, see you very soon.